Japan. Hey, my food is cold. Reheat it. Yes. Draw the bath and give me a beer. Yes. Hurry up. You're so clumsy. Why can't you get things done efficiently, you slug? The abuse was hauled at me by my husband day after day. He sneered in satisfaction when he saw me biting my lip. I'm the breadwinner of the family, so I must be the most respected. You can't live without me. A wife is expected to obey her husband. If you don't like it, show me you can make half of what I do. He wasn't like this before. I couldn't take it anymore. I'm leaving you. Ha ha ha, you idiot! You're gonna come back to me in a few days anyway. After all, you're just a housewife who doesn't make a penny. A housewife? Unable to make a penny? What a ridiculous assumption. Whatever, he was going to realize that sooner or later. He'd know what a fool he was and who he turned against. I'm Kim, an ordinary housewife. I've been married for five years. My daughter Sarah is still a handful, but I'm basking in the happiness of parenthood. My husband Bill and I met at work. He worked in sales, and I was an administrative assistant in his department. He was the one chasing after me. We exchanged our numbers at an office party and hung out a few times. I was unsure about his forcefulness at first, but I fell for his masculinity and accepted his proposal. I will make you happy for the rest of your life. After the proposal, he asked me to quit my job and be a housewife. My mom was a housewife, and my dad was a breadwinner in the family. I want us to be the same as them. My ideal family is one where my wife keeps the home. He spoke enthusiastically and dreamed of creating a home as his parents did. He wanted me to support him as a traditional wife. Although I found my work at the company rewarding, I believed his words of, I will support you, and resigned from my job. When I thought about it afterward, those were such empty words. Bring me a beer! My husband never moved from in front of the TV, directing me with his chin. If there was even the slightest delay, he pounded the table. Soon after our marriage, his true nature was revealed. OC husband. No, it was antiquated harassment. Even companies nowadays didn't make their female employees fetch drinks. Apparently, it was a norm for the wife to silently obey the husband in his family. Don't overshadow me, make me look good, and don't embarrass me. I didn't know what kind of a relationship his parents had, but it seemed to be common knowledge that a wife was like a servant to her husband, at least in his mind. Wait, it was more like a slave. Why is my dinner already cold? You must prepare a hot and delicious meal for me. Because you came back so late. No matter how late I come home, you must be prepared to welcome me back. Why don't you get that? I don't know what kind of discipline your parents gave you. Then let me know before you come back at least. I can time your dinner accordingly. Why should I be ordered by you, a housewife? I'm the one making the money. I'm the breadwinner in the family. How should I know what time I will be released from my boss? Does being a housewife make you lose common sense? I mean... Enough! Reheat my dinner! And draw the bath too! Yes. He brought up the fact that I was a housewife every time. The one who made money was the ruler. I was a parasitic creature on him. His values seemed to be built all around money. Yet, he was incredibly carefree with it. Did you go gambling again? I've been asking you to stop. Shut up. Gambling is my hobby. None of your business if I do. Sarah is still small. We need money for childcare. And I want her to take some lessons when she starts kindergarten. I can't even buy her toys if you keep losing. It's the role of the housewife raising the child to make ends meet. Stop being so hysteric. I'm already annoyed by losing a big game today. You should take Sarah to the park once in a- Shut up! I can do whatever I want with the money I make. Don't you cross me. 
You are just a housewife. I was yelled at by an enraged husband every day. I never wanted Sarah to hear our arguments. Yes, if only I could be patient. But there was an incident that pushed my patient beyond its limit. It was when I returned home from out. Home? Why is my closet open? I remember closing it before I leave. I got a bad vibe and checked inside quickly. I was right. One of my bags was gone. It was an expensive and my favorite bag that my mom bought for me when I landed my first job. She knew firsthand how I struggled to find a job. So when it happened, she gifted me a designer bag. I had always cherished it, filled with the kindness of my beloved mother. When I asked Bill, he nonchalantly admitted, Oh yeah, that bag. I sold it online. Sold it? Why? Because you spent on something that was beyond the means of a housewife. It was sold at the quite good money. Supposed to be some kind of a designer brand. You're wrong. That was... Anything you buy with my salary generally belongs to me. A housewife has no say in it if I sell it or whatever. Know your status. You're horrible. I have my own private life too. What private life? You forced me to look after Sarah and went out today, telling me you were meeting up with your friend. You bought unnecessary things again, didn't you? I met up with my best friend from the university. It was something really important. Anyway, you make no money, hence you have no right to argue with me. If you don't like it, show me you can make half of what I do. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure you can't. He sneered at me. I no longer had any desire to argue with him who declared. Let's see if I can win tomorrow's game with the money from selling the bag. Our heated argument finally reached Sarah's ears and I heard her cry from upstairs. I couldn't stand him anymore. My patient had drained out. I had endured desperately until now, thinking if I just put up with it, it would be all good. But I couldn't take it anymore. He even messed with my phone memory of my mom. Not only that, our only daughter had finally heard us fighting. It made no sense to deal with him anymore. It definitely had a bad influence on Sarah. There was no way she was going to grow up to be an upright person living with such a father. I was determined to leave him and go back to my parents' house. You're gonna come back to me in a few days anyway. After all, you're just a housewife who doesn't make a penny. He never said a word to stop us from leaving. Rather, he was arrogantly assured that I would fail. He already made up his mind that I would end up begging him to take me back later. Hmm. <laughs> Let him be. I was determined to start a new life. We are home. Hi, sweeties. Are you okay? Such trouble you are in. Come inside. You must be hungry, Sarah. When I returned home in a gloomy mood, my parents warmly welcomed me back. They told me to stay as long as needed and were happy to have their granddaughter living with them. The warmth of a home made me weep for the first time in a long while. <laughs> now, now, sweetheart. You are still our daughter even though you've been away. Mommy. I'm okay, baby. We're gonna be happy from now on. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. We are so grateful. Our new life had begun lovingly. Sarah had always been fond of her grandparents, so she quickly adjusted to her new life. She seemed rather at ease in the environment with many people around. I was so glad it was before she started kindergarten. I could send her to the same place I went to from my parents' house. I myself had been feeling better. The stress from Bill had taken a considerable toll on my body without me even realizing it. I was able to eat double the amount. I enjoyed every meal just because Bill didn't scold me about the cold dish and told me to make better food. Naturally, I started to smile more. My friends were happy to see me feeling better. When the peaceful time had passed, hmm? I received a call from an unknown number. 
I felt a bit nervous, but decided to pick up the phone. Hello, is this Kim? I was astounded to hear the voice. It was my mother in law. She continued, I'm sorry to call you out of the blue. You and Bill are in such a situation. Hi, is something wrong? I need to tell you something. It concerns your safety. Also, I've been meaning to apologize to you. Anyway, listen. Bill came to see us last night. In summary, her story went something like this. He visited his parents to discuss the situation late last night. They found out that I took Sarah and left home, and were stunned to hear what he told them next. Kim left and hasn't even come back to clean the house. Thanks to her, it's complete chaos now. But Bill, she moved back in with her parents, right? So you have to do the cleaning yourself. She left on her selfish will. She should at least come back to clean while I'm at work. Besides, she's a housewife. It's her job to take care of the house. You're being ludicrous. She couldn't even do the chores right from the time she was living there. She made up all sorts of excuses like Sarah was still young. The reason she went back to her parents was a reflect of her inability. She's going to learn everything again from her mother and change her attitude toward me. And yet, she's been neglecting the house for over a month now. Listen, have you ever thought why she left you? Huh? What do you mean, Dad? Like I just said, it's because of her inability. If you seriously believe that, she will never come back to you. She's heard that you look down on her. Oh, whatever, Dad. A housewife obviously must obey her husband. She's supposed to support me, right? You guys have been like that too. No way! I have never been looked down on by your father. I've been caring for him because I respect the man who works tirelessly for us from the bottom of my heart. And as for me, I truly love her. I've never thought she is lower than me. I don't have life as is without her. No, it's my fault if I made you believe that a husband is above a wife. I apologize to you and Kim. Before that, you must apologize to her. And while you wait for her to forgive you, reflect on what you have done. That's crazy. He was completely denied his claim by his own parents, whom he was supposed to learn from. Even then, his idea remained firm. No matter how hard they lectured him, he adamantly denied his fault. It would have been okay if he stopped there, but he sounded like he was coming to your parents' house to see you. He was like, I'm going to tell her how it should be. It made my husband and I worried about you. It's nice of you to let me know. Thank you so much for your concern. A part of us always worried that he may be treating you badly. But we are very sorry for not trying to get to the truth sooner. Whatever the situation turns out to be, we'll be on your side. Thank you. I will come and see you with Sarah once things settle. Watch out for Bill. You never know what he might do if he gets carried away. Her warning was realized soon after. When I was out leaving Sarah with my mom at home. Hey, Kim! Oh no, Bill! He approached me on the street. My husband, I see in a month, looks very disheveled. His shirt was shabby, and his suit was noticeably wrinkled, and didn't look like it had a single lint bulb removed. When I was home, I never missed a day taking care of his suits. Why are you here? That's my line. What are you doing out here in the middle of the day, leaving Sarah alone? Well, you're all dressed up. Don't tell me you're going to meet some guy. With a fancy makeup and tight skirt, you look like an Avon sales lady. I'm just meeting my usual friend. None of your business, anyway. It's my business. I'm your husband. You must have bought these clothes with my salary. Don't you dare talk back to me. He ran it as usual, but I had no reason to endure him anymore. I bought this with my own money. My makeup and shoes, too. 
How am I supposed to spend your money when I'm not with you anymore in the first place? Well, wait, you are squandering. That's why I got this stupid thing in the mail. He confronted me with a paper bill. Credit card payment. It couldn't be paid from my account. This never happened before you left home. All right, I got it. There was not enough money in his account, and the amount couldn't be debited, so there was a notice from the bank. He thought it was my fault for spending all that money. A shallow mind all the way. I sighed in pity. What's wrong? I couldn't help but feel sorry for you because you're so stupid. Stupid? How dare you? Yeah, yeah. You're the breadwinner who brings money, right? You are too stupid to keep track of your spending. That's because you overspend. I swear, I have not touched your money. There's no way, even if I wanted to, anyway. Because you don't make that kind of money to begin with. It seemed he was having a hard time understanding. I wasn't surprised. I explained to him in detail. Your cheap salary was never enough. It wasn't a problem for a family of three to live normally on $4,000. But it was impossible thanks to your gambling. My gambling? You lost a great amount, and yet the following week you had to do it all over again. Of course, no money left in the account. I was making up the shortfall to maintain the family finance. What do you mean by making up? How do you get that kind of money? You are just a housewife. No way. You have a sugar daddy. Stop saying vulgar things. I earned from a normal job. You were the only one who thought I was a housewife. I was making money from a remote job. I worked from home in between busy household chores. The job had been given by my best friend from the university. She majored in the French language with me. She had a consulting company for the translation business. I steadily built my own career by being entrusted with small jobs. Sometimes I was out to meet her for business meetings. It was never for useless shopping. My stupid husband never knew. You say you are making up for my losses, but can you make that much money doing that job? He finally seemed to believe me and asked me with a pale face. I proudly answered. It was very little at first. It's a kind of job where your experience is valued above all else. But I stuck to it and finally got my name recognized. Lately, I have been able to get some big projects. For this month, I'd say I'm at about $8,000. $8,000! As I recall, the one who makes the most money is above the other, right? My salary is double yours, so I'm way above you. Well, that's. I hate to say this, but I've done all the housework. And child railing on my own, as well as my job. Can you imagine how hard that is? You only work and gamble the rest of the time. Wait, I. He seemed to be shrinking. He couldn't have looked more pathetic. But the next second, he was on his knees on the ground. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. I had no idea you had been covering for me. Covering for you? No way. It was a tool to free myself from you. I sincerely apologize. Please come back. The house is a mess without you. I don't know how to dress, and I'm bored of eating takeaways. You still treat me as a housewife at this point. Seriously, you are incapable of learning. The breadwinner gets a higher rank, right? Then you clean and cook yourself. You who make cheap income. I quickly turned my back on him, who mourned in a pitiful voice. I was on my way to meet a client for a big project. I was dressed to impress and didn't have time to waste on a pathetic man. I turned around as I'm walking away with one more thought, showing a grin to tearful Bill. I've seen a divorce lawyer. The divorce papers should be sent to you this time, not the credit card bill. Please take care of it. He grunted something, and this time I didn't look back. A year later, I'm still working as a translator. My friend asked me to join her company, but I enjoy my work as is. I've got a translated mystery novel coming out with my name on it. Sarah started kindergarten. 
With the help of my parents, she quickly adapted and made friends. My ex-in-laws told me when I visited them once that Bill hadn't been able to reflect on what he had done. He told people around him he was glad to have gotten rid of a useless wife, which made his parents enraged and cut ties with him. Rumor on the wind is that he can't get rid of his gambling habit and is involved with a loan shark now. Maybe he still insists that a husband is better than a housewife, but that's no longer any of my business. I, with my parents and Sarah, will make a warm family of four.